This is Palma Sabrina's open source motor controller project. This is a demonstration of controlling torque and speed with the throttle. So notice that the throttle is almost completely on, but now we're going to slow it down to near zero RPMs, which would normally make the current go up really high. So slow it down. Now, when you, you will not turn. You trying to turn again? See, it responds. It's like. It's going to gently, it's going to gently, it's like there's a person on here pulling against me. <laughs> it feels really funny. Okay, um, I forgot what I was, um, so see, I'm keeping it still, I'm holding it in place, and notice it's limiting the, uh, the torque over there. Now if I let go, It'll go back to wherever it was, and then, so, so this allows it to, it, this will allow the car's version to accelerate from, at zero RPM, it's going to have a very gentle torque takeoff. It won't be jerky at all, because at zero RPM, it's always using lots of yeah, not Amps. jerky like my filming. There we go. There we go. Notice that the torque doesn't decrease. Um, it's hard to explain. The torque doesn't decrease at high RPMs because the pulse width modulation duty is high and the torque <laughs> is high and so it's okay for the torque to be high. It's okay for that torque and that modulation duty to be high. <laughs> it's only once it's slow, that's the problem area. That's where you want the torque to be under control. That's right. So you may continue your redheaded stepchild. <laughs> okay. Now let's slow it down and turn it off. Here we go. Hooray. Hooray. Boys, you say you have some advice for your friends out there, so you go first, Simon. Bye.